Hello, this is David Freytag with 3SL. Uh, I was asked to show an example of exporting, doing a bulk change, and then doing an import. I'm going to use the verification item type uh, to show this. We have the verification all query up. I'm going to click the query detail window. This is going to let me select down to the particular items that need to have something changed in them. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a text change. Um, I can put the information in here, process value exceeds. So that's the text string that I'm looking for. Uh, if I knew that it was in a particular frame or potentially two or three frames, I could ch check and just select those particular frames. If I wanted to check across all text frames on the item, I could just leave that uh, field blank. But in this case, I know it's the notes, so I'm going to use that one. Click apply. And of all of verification items, I can see that there are four that have that text frame in there that has this, uh, this value. Um, if you just have a few items, it's going to be easier just to click into the item and make the change. Uh, so for instance, on this one, let me get the full view here. I can go over, see the notes field. I could click in here and I could just make the change directly if I wanted to change that text. If you had a hundred items and didn't want to go through that process, um, what we recommend doing is in this query, do a save as. We're going to do this as, let's save the name of this one as export to. And that way I can select this uh, set of data later. So I've made that query, I've selected it, I've verified that you know this is the information that I do want to see. I'm going to go over to the project tab, click export. Standard is the Cradle file format, so I want to switch that over to CSV. And I'm going to define by query. So what this lets me do is go in and select that verification export to query that we just saved. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select the fields that I want it to bring over. So it's automatically going to bring over identity, type, draft, and version. Uh, you'll definitely need those fields. We recommend that you bring in owner. If you had 100 items and you were the sole owner of all of those items, it may not be necessary. However, if you owned 10 and somebody else owned 20 and somebody else owned a few, um, this is going to allow you to import that owner field back in with the change data and let that remain the same. If you had multiple other fields that you needed to add, you can select all of those here. But in this case, we knew it was in the frames, uh, frames notes variety there. So we'll just bring that field in. Click OK. I'm going to select a location for this. And one note, if you are using a remote desktop of some sort, make sure you know where you are saving this. So is it getting saved to that the, the remote desktops desktop? Or are you going to save it to your personal? Are you going to save it to, a, save it to a share drive? Just make sure you know where that's going. We'll click, we'll run the export. You can see here from this that it has exported those four items. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Go out to my desktop. And here we can see we've got the different fields. We've got the, uh, the text value that we want to change there. In Excel, I'm going to do the replace function. And run the replace all. Close that. I'm going to do a save as. So we'll save this as, uh, I'm going to change the name have to change the name necessarily, but you do want to keep this as a CSV file. Come back over to Workbench and on the project tab, this time we're going to go to import. We want to change this over to CSV. We brought this in as a system note. So verification is a system note. So we needed to choose system note and then verification to identify the type. Uh, owner, as in file, 
So that way, whoever was the original owner of the items that we exported will remain the owner. Make sure that merge is selected. That's the default, but that's what we want on this one. And we're going to come down. You may have to expand this or scroll to see all of the options, uh, but we're going to do ignore projects current auto numbering. If you want to capture the change history, you can do auto update uh, modification details. So this is going to take the before and after text and save that into the change history for the particular items. And you can also uh, do an item comment. You know, so if you want that comment of why things were changed, um, you, know, you can do export for uh, export import for mass edit or something of those sorts, whatever you want to save that as. We need to select the file. So I got edit to import. When I click import, it's going to pull up. It should auto identify all of the different types uh, that are in the file and what the appropriate field is for Cradle. I click OK. We can see that it's done the import. So I'm going to close that out. Now, if I were to rerun that uh, verification export to query that we created, it should come back blank because that string that we searched for is no longer valid. There's none of the items that have that. If we go in and just run verification all, we can run a query, come over here to the frames. We're gonna look in the notes frame again. Now the, the phrase starts with project value is equal to. We can see that we've got those four items there. And if I open this up, I can see that that has changed. I can also look at the change history. And we can see process value exceeds was originally there. Process value is exceeds or equal to is what it was changed is equal to or exceeds is what it was changed to can see that uh, the manager was the login that we used the day and the time that that was done. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be glad to help walk you through that. Uh, but we wanted to make sure that this was available to you so you could uh, go in and make some of those changes while we're doing a couple of fixes for you. Thank you very much. Bye.